Yo guys, what's going on Tim here? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make this awesome looking text right here. It's very, very easy to do and it looks really good on many different things. This is a, a Twitch panel right here that I did for a client. You guys will be able to do it on many different things, YouTube banners, thumbnails, and all sorts of Twitch stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks very, very nice and it's easy to do in Photoshop. Here's another example. Um, this is a pixel art version. Um, so I basically just did the exact same thing but with a different colour and then I scaled down the size so it pixelated it a bit. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> it's very easy to do. Sorry about if I cough or anything, I've got a bit of a bad throat but yeah. Um, so also guys, sorry I don't have the face cam at the, be the beginning of this video. Um, I just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. So uh, I've got a 1920 by 1080 document open right here. I'm just going to be showing you how to do the text itself. It's a very quick and easy thing to do. And a lot of you guys have been asking for this um, after you saw the design, you just was asking for it. So yeah, you basically want to choose two colors. So blue and yellow, two colors you don't really see together. Um, <clears throat> and it looks really nice. So literally any colors can work well. Let's try and use something different. So I'm just gonna put um, in the text, I'm just gonna put subscribe. And I'm just gonna scale it up. The font that I'm gonna be using in this is, you can either, uh, Aero looks good. Uh, also Hemihead, I think I'm gonna use Aero for this one. And yeah, I'm just gonna make it white so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna put it into the center. I think that's the center and I'm just gonna Hold Alt and make it bigger. Then you just want to double click on it and go to gradient overlay. Make sure it's on 100%. And um, on this, double click and choose a color. I think I'm going to go with like, um, I'm trying to think, maybe like a green. And then press OK and then go into the other one. And could choose like a orange I don't know I don't know if this is gonna look good but it could do so you want to leave it like that and you can either position it this way so it's looking like I think I'll do it like that to be honest that looks quite nice um, so it's on zero the angle then you want to add an inner glow set it to overlay and um, I'm just gonna increase the size a little bit so you guys can copy down the, these settings looking nice then you want to in fact no I'm just going to decrease the opacity of the inner glow um, a little bit. So yeah. Then you just want to rasterize it and then press Control R on the keyboard, bring the rulers down so it snaps like so. And then you want to duplicate it, press Control and click on the thumbnail, go to select, modify, contract and contract by four, press delete. And then you want to press Control U and make it white. And then you want to set that to overlay like so. Next thing you want to go and click on the bottom one and then just highlight the bottom half of the text. Go to the erase tool, make sure it's on brush and you want it to be on an opacity, bring it down to about 70% and then the bottom half you just want to rub away a little bit at the bottom like so. Maybe do something like that and then what you want to do is Press M on your keyboard to select and do the top half and then the outline that we created you want to rub away a little bit of the top part. Then what you want to do is above the bottom one, the bottom layer, add a new layer, create clipping mask, right click, create clipping mask, uh, go to white and make sure it's on the brush. and just to fill that in. You can also press Alt Backspace to fill it in if you want. Then you want to go to the Eraser tool and just rub away the top part of it. So it looks like that. So yeah, that is all pretty much it guys. It looks very, very, very nice. Um, so yeah, you can use this on many different things. And like I said, these colors don't usually go well together, but it gives it a cool like shiny effect and it just does go well together. Um, Obviously, once you are done, you would add some color corrections, but there's no background or anything. So let's just add color corrections anyway. So I'll bring down the brightness a bit and the contrast up. 
fast, I'll bring the brightness up as well. Three and eight, I've got it on. Color curves, bring this part up and then this part down a little bit. And then exposure, bring up the exposure a little bit. Uh, bring up the offset at 0.0042. Gamma correction, bring that up a bit. And then color balance, gonna make move it over to the blue purple and the blue side I always like to do that it just looks pretty cool and then if we group all that together let's just hide the background it looks a lot better with the uh, color corrections basically but yeah you can use this for many different different things YouTube banners thumbnails but like I said I did this for a oh this was a use code rogue zodiac so this was like in Fortnite you know how you guys can um, you, you can get your own code, so if this person wanted um, a used code on their Twitch overlay. Um, but you can also do it on panels and stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you do want it to pixelate, all you got to do is go to image, image size, and then take off a zero. And then it pixelates it, um, like so, and it looks pretty nice. And you can go to image size, bring it back up, and it should be pixelated still. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, um, just how to make a really, really nice font. Uh, I know you guys have been liking my pixel art stuff, so I thought I'd show you this version as well. Uh, I'm not sure what to title this video now, but yeah, it looks really cool. Obviously, if you want, below the color corrections, if you go to the brush tool, go to, like, say yellow, or whatever color you are using, and just, like, click. You guys can set that to screen, and just bring down the opacity of it to give it a little bit of a glow. You can also double click on the bottom layer, go to outer glow, and you can set that to, um, you can set it to like a gradient if you want. So green to orange, and that still looks really nice. So it's got an outer glow, green to orange. Um, there's many things you can do to it, but that is pretty much it. It's very simple, very easy. If you want more text tutorials on the channel, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, turn the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I upload every other day and I try to stream daily. I might have a stream out tonight, guys. I'll let you know over on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, at TimpersHD, guys. And yeah, with that all being said, I hope you're having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video.